Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Werner and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we made um, a big station down here. It was this, the biggest part of the last video where we created um, some plastics. Uh, very important. We made 570 kilograms of plastics. And we made this metal refinery where we made some steel. Um, this of course is temporary and uh, we're going to make something uh, better in the near future. Uh, but yeah, this was needed so that we can have our first plastic and steel because these create a lot of heat. And you need petroleum for that. But yeah, uh, in the previous episode uh, there were two other things that we did. One, we uh, gave our duplicates clothing. So this textile loom. You can make cool vests, snazzy suits, and warm sweaters. And the snazzy suits uh, we gave to all six uh, of our duplicates, and it just uh, increases. Um, it's a little bit of insulation, I guess. But the most important fact is that it has a radiation of the core around the duplicates, so they're a little bit happier where they are. Uh, and the last thing that we did is we added some more base automation and automation is going to be something that we do a lot um, but yeah what we did is we made this mealwood farm uh, to catch up with our food issues because we were switching up our hatch farms from uh, eggs uh, and um, omelets to barbecue where we have this uh, farm uh, where we create meat so to overcome that because this meat takes about 20 cycles to come uh, we enabled our um, mealwood farm and we automated that as well and the other last thing that we automate is also this uh, station here where we make um, ceramics and refined carbon that's how we um, put their tasks i guess at first um, and yeah this is very automated as well we get the coal from this side and here we have the clay and this auto sweeper can fill these up wherever it wants in this video we're going to add a little bit more diversity and power right now we have 1200 watts from our coal generators and if we want to do serious things we want to have more diversity and power and in this case, we're going to work with these natural gas generators. These generate 800 watts a piece and they need natural gas, of course, to run. Um, we know that there's a natural gas uh, geyser. Where is it? Down here somewhere? Uh, here. Uh, we can see that with this trick, which we've used before. There's a natural gas geyser here. We're going to look at this one. We're going to encase it. We're going to um, make sure that we can harvest the natural gas that comes out of here because right now it's it, it cannot produce natural gas because it's covered. Uh, and we'll make sure that we can start uh, gathering natural ga gas in uh, an infinite storage, of course, again. Uh, and then we can also start harvesting. We're going to make a power station here. Um, and uh, one more thing that we're going to do is improve our power grid. Right now, we have all our uh, power producers and power consumers on the same line, but there's actually a way to split that uh, for the power producers and batteries. Typically, you have heavy watt wires, you have the heavy watt wires, heavy watt joint plates, and heavy watt conductive wires and heavy watt conductive joint plates. Um, they are they have some other issues because they cannot run through tiles um, but they can run a lot more watts so if you have these heavy watt wires they have a max power of 20 watts and these heavy watt conductive wires 50 kilowatts so they can handle a lot more power whereas these uh, conductive wires can handle a maximum of 2000 watts 
and uh, we can go from the one to the other via transformers which you can see here we have the power transform which can uh, give 1000 watts to the small wires and this large power transform again uh, and uh, give 4000 kilowatts to the small wires so yeah um we're going to work with those a little bit better um to split up the system a little bit better but uh yes that also means we're going to move these batteries um and the last thing that we're going to do uh is make uh, some kind of cooling loop for the first time uh, we did make up plastic and steel in the last time so we're going to make some kind of steam room uh, where we also have a steam turbine and um, that steam turbine is going to um, make sure that we can remove heat uh, and turn it into power uh, but the details of that we will uh, get to later on so before we begin with all of that stuff i want to do some minor adjustments uh, we have here uh, a rock crusher that's making lime uh, lime is good for steel of course but every time we need eggshell or fossil because we can also uh, change fossil into lime they have to get go here move it up and then they bring five kilograms or something here and then they turn it into lime and then they have to get a new errand and that's of course not very efficient so what i'm going to do is put a storage bin here i'm going to make this as a six so that we can put all our fossil and eggshells in here and then every time they want to make some lime they just have to walk this bit it's much more efficient uh, also we're going to need a lot of ceramics in this um, episode uh, we're still making 26 here but i'm going to set this to forever and actually i'm also going to do the same here so we're going to double up on our production of ceramics because we will need a lot of it um that's the start of things that i want to do uh, other than that uh, let's start working towards this well here it is i keep losing sight of it uh, this natural gas generator and i want to go there in a way that we uh, bring over well, I want to make sure that we don't make too much of a mess with gases. Uh, so let's see. Um, first of all, I want to measure out where do we get our letters of igneous rock. So we have letters here, 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 and here. So let's move over here. We go down here. Then we have um, here another letter and here. No, wait, here. Now we're going to move over here again. And then we're going to take uh, this top water here, which is pure water. And we try to dump it into a water lock. Such that we can make sure that we have immediately a vacuum when we go to this natural gas ge uh, generator. So what we're gonna do here is dig out this, this, go back up and back up. And let me see, let me uh, start this over. We want to go one more down like that, 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 and this. And then we need a ladder to be also down one more i guess that's enough and then we can start digging over and this way if everything goes right we have our water that drops in here and that will create a water lock and we will be working in a vacuum which would be perfect uh, but let's see if we can actually make that happen uh, let's also dig up the top part the bottom part i want to leave like as is so we leave the polluted water here uh let's go like this and i guess we can also dig up this this algae because we ru we are running a little bit low on algae um and there's a lot more here but i'm gonna leave that for now so let's make all of this an eight bam at least the parts that i need now uh this also then down 
and then here and this thing here i want to make a nine because we're going to analyze it as quickly as possible um yeah let's do this first um so this is the highest prior what i also want to do in the meantime is make sure we have a transformer set up here so as i said the transformer connects the heavy watt wires with the normal conductive wires um i want to first uh, connect everything to one large power transformer so this one can handle 4000 watts uh, we're going to make this here we're going to add some heavy watt conductive uh, wires let's put that there there and then we're going to connect this with heavy watt conductive wire we need to have a floor here and as i said they cannot go through floors so we need to go around here connect this like this then we need some piles to go like this uh, we need a ladder to get up there let's make it uh, here should be fine and then we also want to have power cables going from here to here and that way we should have everything connected actually i can also immediately connect this here and once this is all built, I can uh, decouple or actually um, deconstruct all of these conductive wires. Uh, because everyone, everything should be running via this thing here. It's not optimal yet because our batteries are here, but this is already an improvement in my eyes. Um, but yeah, let's let them build that as well. The six, that's fine. Okay, let, let me... Um, Let's let them build for a bit. Alright, uh, this is now all built already. It says now we have a power loop detected, uh, which I can understand because this is connected. Um, so this has to be de de uh, de disconnected, this as well. And that should now be solved. Um, which also means we can remove the conductive wire and we can remove these here and then we are already there um, this transformer will make sure that uh, these cables will never get more than 4000 watts and one go uh, and at some point we can start splitting up uh, this power grid into more individual lines uh, so we don't run the risk of them drawing more than the 2000 watts that can be handled by this power line so let's make sure that this gets disconnected it's already happening uh, we can store this lead again and then we're all set here in the meantime we're also digging down here but it's not going as fast as i'd like uh, we are bringing down a little bit of water which indeed will create a liquid lock here in these corners so that is perfect and exactly what i wanted um, so we can start mapping out what we want to do here with a natural gas generator. Uh, I want to make it in such a way that we do not get this stuff here. And we can do that actually because we can... Uh, let's make it uh, ceramics. We can build it in such a way that uh, for high... We want to go until here because we also need a gas pump in there. And then uh, we want to build with the highest prio uh, this and this. Then we create a ladder. And let's make the ladder actually here. And then we dig over, um, let's go like this, so we can reach this one. That is the most important first step in order, and then we dig over and then we make this one, and then we dig over here. Uh, actually, we can already do that as well. Dig over here and make this one, and then we make sure that we make them in the correct order. All right. So all of this can be an 8. I guess 8 is enough. 
this is okay. This ladder. What? Eight. Eight it is. So, and then in the meantime, uh, we can also dig up this here. And I hope this is all going to stay a nice uh, vacuum so we don't have to deal with a mixture of gases. In the meantime, we can also start setting up the um, place where we are going to use the um, natural gas. And I want to make it down here below the uh, coal generators. We have this heavy water conductive wire, which I'm going to copy. We're going to make it here and also here. I'm going to connect these so we can use it lower as well. We're going to set up these. Um, it can be out of copper, that's fine. Make one there and make one here. We're going to connect them also with wire. Why is this all out of a nine? Wait, 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 wait. This is definitely lower prior than the stuff down there. Uh, so let's do it like this. Then we continue building. We need mesh tiles because water is going to drop from these natural gas generators. Uh, nat natural, yeah, natural gas generators. And it's going to drop down. So we're going to make mesh uh, tiles here so it can drop on the floor. And then we're going to also make some tiles um, out of igneous rock is fine, I guess, where they can stand on. Uh, did we mess up where we move the cables? Uh, build. I'm still doing that as a nine. Wait a moment. Six. Six, please. Okay. And then we also need to work on our gases. Uh, the output gases I want to bring to my infinite uh, carbon dioxide storage because these will output pure carbon dioxide it's not going to be much but still i want to make sure that it's nicely kept uh igneous rock is fine going up here then down and to the right we go i guess we can go in here down and over here uh, and then we also need to have a ladder that we can reach everything. And these we can reach from the inside. Okay. This is now all the six, right? Yeah, I'm not messing up anymore. And then we also need a um, supply line for our gases. So we also need ventilation. And uh, we're going to make those insulated because uh, the gas coming from the geyser is 150 degrees. So we're going down here. And then down here, where we're going to go, um, where we need to go. Let's see. So also, uh, we need more tiles because here we're going to catch the water. Uh, igneous rock. Drop it like this up there. Fan not of ventilation, plumbing. We're going to make a liquid pump out of copper. Is fine. We're going to put it here. And we're going to make a hydro sensor right there because we want to enable the pump when there's enough water and we don't want to pump the last milligrams of water up that would be a waste uh, it also needs power so heavy watt conductive wire let's bring that here and then we need to have a line where we can bring the water up to our infinite polluted water storage so let me liquid pipe um let's bring it down from here like that and i can cancel this one because that is already built um so yeah once we have our natural gas arranged we can bring up the line here with natural gas and then we should be fine uh, so let me let them build a little bit more and then i'll be back
All right, we're getting closer. Uh, we have a liquid lock as planned. Uh, it's not very strong. It's 38 grams and another 35 grams here, which have to hold back all the gases, but it does work. Uh, there's not that much gas here anyway, but this is nice and a vacuum. So we don't have to worry about any gases spreading in here and being a nuisance um, so what we can do here now is set up a little bit more of what we can already see let's make this all an eight uh, like this we can set up our gas pump as i said um, this geyser that's here generates gas at 150 degrees and these things have an overheat temperature this one is 75 degrees um, yeah, that's a little bit too low, so this gas generator would get damaged, uh, especially with uh, copper. Uh, gold amalgam already has a plus 50 degrees, that's 125, still not enough, so we have to make this out of steel. And here, this is where our steel comes in handy. So we're going to make one steel gas vent here. Uh, we're also going to immediately make an Atmos sensor here to make sure we only pump when there's sufficient gas. I'm going to put that there. This can be out of... Wait, did we make this out of copper? Uh, wait. Atmos sensor... Yeah, let's make this out of lead. Because lead... The, this does not have an overheat temperature. Um, this sensor. It's only a, it only has a melting temperature. And it, we don't care that much about it. Because it's uh, very, very high. Alright, we're finally in here. We still have a vacuum. Perfect. Uh, exactly what we want. Um... We want them to work on this now. Uh, actually, really important to do this first. Uh, and then we can go in here. Uh, we can already see the first bit of the um, gas fan. It is active, it seems. That is built. So let's dig up this one. This is also built. Uh, um, we have to make sure that we build this in the correct order. Let's build this one. And then I guess we need to do a little trick. Because otherwise gas from here will get in there anyway. Uh, we shouldn't have removed this one yet. What materials do we have here? Granite. Okay, let's make a granite... File here temporarily. Okay. And then we can also... Let's actually make this one first. As a 9. Because this is now safe. This should be a 9. And this should definitely be analyzed as quickly as possible. It's emitting 403 grams per second of natural gas um, at 150 degrees, as I said. Uh, it is active right now, but we cannot see the active period yet uh, unless it gets analyzed, which is happening right now. Uh, so we're waiting for that to finish. But yeah, we are spreading a little bit of natural gas here. It's going to cool down quickly because of the other tiles, so it's not going to make steam from our water lock, uh, luckily. But yeah, let's make sure to do this ASAP. Once this is built, we can remove this tile again. Then we can dig this bit and build this tile. And this all makes sure that there's nothing other than natural gas in this area. We want to leave that and build this one as a 9 as well. And then everything here is natural gas. So we're perfectly filtered still. We don't have any issues. We can build this one. And up here. And over build this one and then we can dig up these set up a not a pitch pump a bottle emptier here because this is going to be a storage room here um, ventilation we're going to use some gas fans uh, they can be out of copper I guess no overheat temperature 
and then we're going to make some gas pipes to connect uh, this uh, and we're going to make sure that these the rest of them these are all going to be input uh, into our infinite natural gas storage and uh, we're gonna have one that's for this area and the rest is going to be for um, other inputs so let's see this is all as a nine still uh, we can start sweeping i want this to be swept quickly so we can close this up we still need power in here so let's make conductive wire uh out of that is still fine like this and like that and up here we're going to have two more pumps gas pumps out of steel there and there they're gonna have insulated pipes Igneous rock is okay, like this, and I'm going to make some automation wire because I want to be able to control them uh, up in the same spot. And I think that is that. And all of this up here can be an eight, like this. Yeah, in here, this is the most important part. Because I want to lock off this area. Oh, we also need to dig up this here for sure. That needs to be dug up. Okay. And then sweep as a nine everything here. Nope. No, as a nine. All of this. Right, this is set up. We're going to put some. Um, we don't have crude oil yet. Wait, uh, let me pick it up. We have some crude oil here. Let's do that as an eight again. And this crude oil is going to help us make sure that these vents never overpressure. Okay, this is now empty. Let's close this off ASAP because we don't want to lose uh, all of this natural gas, which is now getting to the outside. And we want to not make make sure that we don't heat up this little bit of water, uh, which is still holding back this gas. Because that will be a mess. Once this is closed off, we're actually safe from that. Let's see, do we have crude oil yet? We do. Uh, let's put this in here as a 9. We have... 24, 27, 3,000, 4, 7, 5,000. I think we can have all of this here because this can have a maximum of 8,000. So we want all of this in here. Once that is ready, uh, these are already overpressured because there's more than 2,000 uh, grams in here. So yeah, that's what the oil is for come on guys where is the oil there's the first oil okay let's have a little bit more especially this one only 300 grams so let's wait for the last bit also to come Yes, he's going down. Let's disable this building here as well. All right, I think we are delivering the last of the oil. There we go. Okay. Now we have 800 grams here, 1000 grams, 14 and 1800, that should be okay. So let's deconstruct this here, we clean this up and then we close this off. And then this contraption is already done, just needs some power, uh, which we will work on uh, now, I guess. Let's give it some power, let me see, we're going to make conductive wire let's let it come from here and then we go down over down i guess we can go 
through here once this is closed off. But yeah, we want to close this off first, and then we will make room for this cable. So clean this up. I have a little bit of gas here, but we're just going to leave it like that. Should be fine. What I am going to do actually... Let me think. Yeah, let's put a gas valve here. And gas pipes. Like that and like this. And then a gas bridge onto there. Uh, do we want to prime this? I guess it's not necessary. We can do that later on. But yeah, we definitely need to sweep this up. Top prior. And they are all... all doing this of course oh we built this with a line uh wait 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 let's make this a six we don't want this to be built first it is important uh, but i want to close this off the nine pick this up this one we can set again to one and this way if we prime this with natural gas we make sure that only natural gas can go through here Okay, as a 9, we close this off. Alright, uh, and now this is all closed off. So what we need to do here is also dig up this stuff so we can build the cable. And then we're actually going to... Let's all make this out of 6. Um, free up some space here. And this line is actually going here. So we can fix as well. We can start bringing up our um, natural gas. All right, let's free it up. Uh, what we're going to do is make some insulated pipes out of igneous rock. We're going to lead this up. Uh, let's go through the ladders. Uh, what we're going to do at... I guess at this point is fine. We're going to make gas bridges um, like this and like this. Uh, and then we're going to continue the line from here. And what this does is it makes sure that first we keep jumping over because bridge inputs always has priority or these inputs always have priority. So we jump over, keep jumping over. Once this is backed up, um, there will be natural gas in here. And from here we will detect whether or not we want to pump because we don't want to keep pumping. Uh, the natural gas generators use 90 grams per second and these can pump 500. It would be a waste if these would continuously keep filling that little bit of gas uh, to the line so we don't want that um then we want to have an element sensor here oh yeah we need to remove this uh, ladder please uh, we also need to have a knot gate a here uh, back to ventilation element sensor here and automation wire connect this and connect up this here so when we detect natural gas here uh, we want these not to run so we run through a not gate if we don't have natural gas here then we can have this run that's how i want to set this up um let's make this a seven yeah let's let's do this first i want to set this up Right there. What? Going to eat something. 
And these also have to be built, actually. Uh, let me make this here and a seven, because uh, we need power. And these also, actually. Because right now our natural gas geyser is overpressured. So it stops generating gas, which is a waste. It's five kilograms. We need power to start pumping out some natural gas here. How are we... Uh, these walls have power, but we don't have this pipe done. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's all connected. Yeah, so this is uh, saying we have overpressure. Um, yeah, that's a waste. That's why we want this to pump, uh, and we want the pump to run when we have more than 1000 grams in here. Uh, it is producing less than one pump can displace 403 grams, so this should be perfectly fine. This should be, be able to keep up with the natural gas generator. Alright, we have power, so now we are filling this up. Uh, we're actually also filling up this line, I guess because it goes until these bridges. Um, what I'm going to do real quickly is make a temporary line down into here to prime this up. But we want to build this first. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me do this real quick. Because I want to delete this again. I just want one packet of uh, gas to flow over. But the power is connected now. So that means the gas lines also need to continue. Um, let me see. We go to the left. So we want to connect this line with the one down there. Let's just go through this here and connect this up. Uh, and then make this ladder up. Uh, this is all igneous rock. Igneous rock is fine. So let's go up here. We don't have to build this. And this is all as a 6. This is as a 7. Okay. Uh, we can also set this now to natural gas. So now it does see that there's natural gas backed up. Uh, so it's disabled here. Okay, we have these built, let's connect it. Uh, excuse me? Why is this not going through? What if I do it like this? Ah, there we go. And then we can connect this again and cut off this here. Okay, that works. Okay, this is now primed. Uh, we can disconnect this and destroy these pipes again. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, um, so now this is going to be connected. That will make sure that these get natural gas and they can run. Uh, whenever we detect more than 50 kilograms of polluted water, this pump will turn on and we can pump it up into our polluted water storage. Uh, let's also clean up this area as a five is okay so we have some stuff lying around here and then it's time to work on the last bit which will be our cooling loop uh, let me see we're going to set that up in this area um, we're going to make some tiles out of granite is okay like let me first plan this out like this. It's going to be two stories for now. Uh, the first bit is going to be um, not insulated tiles and after that it will be. Uh, for the bottom cooling loop I want to have a liquid reservoir which we're going to put in this area. And we're going to um, make this a vacuum uh, and we're going to make heavy conductive plates like this, this, and there. So this one and this one we can cancel. 
um, have a lot of conductive wire uh, plates like that and by making the uh, vacuum here we make sure that these heavy watt conductive joint plates do not transfer heat to the outside world and that's exactly what I want to avoid so we can connect this up because why not uh, and then we can start using ceramic tiles so now we're going to use a lot of the ceramics uh, let's see going over here uh, also here this this line is actually the most important uh, five out of five uh, let me see power steam turbines are going to go in the top room more ceramics uh, let's make it like this for now and this and then in the bottom we have another room which we'll make like this and this and then in the end this will be uh, closed off and this as well and this of course also um but yeah for now we're going to just dig this out actually we can already plan other stuff that we want in here uh like a thermal echo tuner for our cooling loop uh that one is going to go here and this is actually also where our batteries are going so let's bring in some smart batteries four of them heavy watt conductive wire to connect them all all of lead is fine and these are out of steel right yeah steel steel everything here is going to be out of steel because this is going to be our steam room this is where it's going to get hot um, to get in here and make sure we have a vacuum, we're we going to get, need a um, liquid lock again. So that's what we're going to prep here. We're going to make two liquid locks in one. Actually, in these in the middle, I don't really need. Uh, this one I also don't need. Wait, what am I doing? We need to have one here, one there. We do need this one. We don't need that one. Yeah. And then we need a... Bottle emptier here. There's fine. I want to make ladders on this side. Down here. We're going to kill this morp. Because that's not what we want in here. Alright. And then dig up uh, everything else. Like that. Okay, that's going to be uh, enough instructions for now. Uh, let's let them work for a bit and I'll be back when we made some significant progress. Actually, we're going to see these... Um, work real soon because these lines are almost done and then our gas will start coming up oh yeah uh, one more thing that I think I still need to do here is connect these up to the uh, batteries because we want to make sure that uh, these don't run when we have enough power so let's connect them like that otherwise they're going to run forever and waste power waste natural gas actually uh, so this is running perfectly we have 20 kilograms of natural gas already here and this is just gonna add up we're nicely keeping up here as well with our gas pump. Last two. Okay, they're making this first. Perfect. And clean up the rest. Alright, this is now connected so the gas should be coming. 
soon as this is emptied out because it left here um, these pumps turned on again as you can see it keeps jumping over this spot so they keep pumping until this line is full and these now start also generating and they generate carbon dioxide which is going to go in this um, storage and here you can see the, there's now um, natural gas in this tile here so these stop pumping until this is all used up that's gonna uh, reduce the need for power a little bit uh, we have 6.2 tons ceramic okay I'll let them work for a bit here before we uh, come back So we are making good progress here, so what we're going to do here is set up our crude oil. Um, we're going to enable auto bottle to make sure that we bring in some crude oil to set up these liquid locks. Actually, we want to wait with this a little bit until these two are built. These two have to be built. We have one draco stuck in here they're always going oh uh okay a little bit of oil escaping but yeah this is already should be enough already but yeah let's um uh, let's deliver one more this is 300 grams 300 grams it's it's sufficient but uh, actually let's let's just leave it uh, that's enough uh, so what we're going to do here is make another granite tile here and one here and then we should have our um, vacuum our water locks ready to go and the other thing that we want to do here now is set up our steam turbines uh, they're going to create water which we want to bring back down into the steam room uh, so we're going to do that like this liquid vents down there uh, that's the first part uh, we have an, some extra powers power cables uh, let me see have we got conductive wire? Oh, this is all connected already. Perfect. Uh, but we also want to vacuum out these rooms. Especially... No, actually both. Uh, so we want to... This doesn't have to be out of steel. Uh, we can make this out of copper. We have one there. And I guess we can make one here. Let's make it here. And then we just uh, lead everything up here to a... Let's just make it a high pressure gas vent. We can destruct, uh, deconstruct them afterwards again. All right. Uh, we also need to dig up these here. Otherwise, we cannot get in. All right. Uh, I moved the gas pump a little bit over so we can put a bottle emptier here. Uh, I want to start adding water in here as soon as possible. Um, I actually want to have this gas pump here done a little bit faster. So we can pump this out and empty this out because this gas pump has to move for me to put a uh, bottle empty here. I want to put a little bit of oil here. Um, I guess we can also start sweeping stuff up as a five get stuff out of there um, what I can start setting up now is a little bit of automation uh, let me see we need to make an automation wire and we're going to bring that to this um, battery because like up here we need to control when the power generators are active so we're going to do that here and then we're going to move this line up let me see uh, of course always saving uh, let me see I guess we can bring it down here and then go down in this spot and the last thing that we need to do here is set up our 
um, cooling loop. Let's start with the radiant pipes. We can make them out of lead. Uh, we're going to make three lead pipes here in the middle of this uh, steam turbine. And everything else is going to be igneous rock. Uh, so let's jump over this line. We also will need to jump over here. Because what we do here is we have an insulated line where we come up here and go in here. And then if uh, we will check the temperature of the water, if it's cold enough, we will bypass the aqua tuner and we will jump in here and then go on. And if we are cooling down the water, we are going through here and also merge with this line. Uh, so we're moving. This is all as an eight. Uh, and then we go up here, here, and then we want to connect this again. Um, this line, the outline, is going into there. And then this is going through here and then over here. Right, how are we doing? Still no power? Why? Oh, because that's to be on. Yeah, we don't have batteries here yet. Okay, but we are starting to empty this out slightly. But only when these generators are active. We need to have a battery on the outside. This one and the power cables need to be built. But we'll get there. Alright, I see that this is already done, so we can start actually putting in water here. Um, yeah, actually, why not? We can do this. Okay, this is starting to get connected. I want these cables done so we have this power here. So these gas pumps can also run when um, the generators are off. But it seems as if we have almost built everything here. So that means we can start um, clearing out the debris. Okay, this one is also connected now. And now we're filling up this battery. This doesn't work perfectly because this battery is actually also filling up these batteries. Um, so yeah, it is draining quite a bit faster than the others. Uh, we have our first water in here, perfect. We're going to fill this up until about 100 kilograms of water. We have 20 now per tile. So that's about 4 more bottles of 200 liters. 200 kilograms, I mean. And that will also help with clearing out the um, the gases, because in these tiles now we cannot have gases anymore. Okay, now the other batteries are also going to be filled up. So we have a little longer power, uh, because yeah, these are going to stay full. Actually, we can start disconnecting these. Uh, let me start by disconnecting this here. That way, these do not get power anymore. Um, when these are almost empty, I'm going to deconstruct them. And um, at that point, these will be our main batteries. Uh, and then these can go. Deconstruct uh, as a nine. When these are almost empty, we can deconstruct them. I don't want to lose power. At least not too much. 
Bam. Milligrams, micrograms, okay, getting there. These are getting emptied. Uh, we are a little bit without power now, but now we can connect this again. And now our uh, grid is powered by these batteries. Milligrams, still micrograms. We're gonna get there. Uh, let me sweep everything again. Just to make sure. How much water do we have here? 70 kilograms. So we need one more bottle. Maybe two. I guess two is fine. 72. This is equally spread. Yeah, maybe two bottles. To have enough steam here. That's the first bottle. Right. Yeah, we can do one more bottle. Now we have over a hundred kilograms of water per tile. Okay, we didn't drop a water bottle there, I think. Come on, guys, one more. Not allowed by schedule. Okay, they're not coming now. Uh, micrograms. We're very close to having a vacuum here. And then we can deconstruct this, clean out the rest. Uh, we can put some oil here, uh, and yeah, then we're pretty much good to go. Oh yeah, we do need to get some uh, water in here, in this reservoir. Um, so let's start working on that. Okay, this is now all done. Let's disable auto. Move this. We have over 100 kilograms per tile, so let's deconstruct this one. And then in the meantime, uh, let's also connect these pipes. Bam, bam, and bam. Oh, we do need to make a pipe there. I don't want to... Yeah, we just need to make this one. I guess we forgot one. Uh, so, let's go and connect our polluted water. We need a little bit of this uh, in order to prime our cooling loop. So, let's go over here. Down. Uh, let's see... We can go over here, down here, there, and then jump over. And then to make sure that we don't do anything silly yet, guess like this. Uh, liquid bridge, liquid pipe, okay, let's move this over. Okay. Oh, we did replace this. That's a little bit annoying. I want this to be lead again. And this also. Sometimes this game. But yeah, this is uh, nice. We have a vacuum here and a vacuum there. Uh, let's see. Can we... I don't know. Um... Deconstruct this, deconstruct this one, then uh, the electrical wires, we can deconstruct those. Gas pipes, we can deconstruct. 
and these two we can also deconstruct and then move everything out let's make sure to clean up this here first oh wow that pipe was quick <laughs> Uh, and here, also before we forget, uh, we need a in plumbing, a liquid pipe thermal sensor out of lead. Um, there, because we need to detect the temperature of the water in the pipe, and if it's at a certain temperature. Uh, if it's above a certain temperature, we want to make sure that it goes through the aqua tuner. Almost forgot this part. That's not uh, very smart. Why do we have water here? Sweep. Okay, so this is now here. Uh, we're going to put polluted water in here. Um, we're going to cool these. I guess we can set this to above 14 degrees or something like that. Let's make it 10 degrees. So that means we're going to cool everything to 10 degrees, as, except for this room, of course. We're going to only cool these um, steam generators. And at some point, we're going to extend this cooling loop so we uh, cool more stuff also to a certain temperature, which we can control with this um, uh, this one here. Uh, let's see, did we sweep up everything here already? And then we need to start with the deconstruction work. This all needs to go. Alright. Uh, sweep as a seven sweep seven these here okay this is all cleared out ceramic tiles as an eight let's build these here so this is now in a vacuum and any temperature that we have in this liquid reservoir is not going to um, change so it's not going to uh, exchange temperature with outside stuff uh, this is also closed so we can build more ceramic tiles here. Close everything off. And then, yeah, we need to clean up the rest. And once that is all done, this is ready. Our cables are ready. Uh, this is a vacuum. Oh yeah, we need to have a little bit of oil in here. So that's the last thing. Bottle emptier there. As an aid is fine. I know we need to clean that up again. But it's okay. It's just one um, drip of oil that we need. We made it out of sandstone. Do we? We have some ceramics in here actually. Yeah, whatever. Come on. Don't just bring the materials. Also construct, please. Uh, so we have now the water coming in. Uh, I want to fill this up first. It's a little bit odd. Let's make this uh, above 500. I don't want this to uh, turn on just yet, so I want everything to bypass the aqua tuner. So we can fill up the loop first. Uh, water should be coming in now. Yes, it is. Nice. So we're going to fill up the loop plus a little bit of buffer here. So we have enough water uh, to go. And this should all flow downwards and then over instead of through this aqua tuner. Okay. Uh, this here we can set to crude oil and auto bottle. 
And let's set this to a 9. Okay. Uh, it's... Uh, okay, I need to prevent water from coming out. Because this, of course, has... Uh, this line has priority, uh, so it would never fill up. Alright. Now it is filling up. We actually have some printables available, let me see... Blossom seeds, okay, whatever. And once we have a good amount, I don't want to fill it up completely, but once we have a good amount, we can connect this again. Or disconnect this one. Oh, we have oil here now, so let's... Stop this one, deconstruct. We have a little bit more materials here. But we're getting close. Okay, that also has to go. Let's start sweeping this up as a seven. This also. Uh, six, yeah, a little bit more. There is food poisoning in here, but it doesn't really matter. Because we're not going to use this to make any food or something like that. But it starts to get red. So it's almost full. Let's do one more. Okay. And at this point we're going to make sure that this is connected again. And then we have a um, pipe that will keep flowing. Uh, in the meantime, we also cleaned up everything it seems, so we can close this contraption off with, of course, ceramics. Let's do that as a 9. Um, do we want to have some gases in here? Uh, I guess we could put in... Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. So we can deconstruct this. Let's actually not gonna deconstruct that one. Uh, wait. We do need to be able to get out of there again. So let's build those. And then uh, once these are built, we can deconstruct this tile. Okay, so now we have some carbon dioxide in here, which is fine. It doesn't matter what gas is in here. Now we have a lot of carbon dioxide here, it seems. Everything else is moved away. Um, yeah, that's okay. So we can close this off again. And then we can enable this here. Uh, so we can set this to above... 10 degrees, which means that this starts running. Because the water in this pipe is more than 10 degrees, it's 32. And once it goes through here, it will actually decrease in exactly 14 degrees. And the heat that is generated with that temperature um, reduction is exposed to the environment here. Um, we have some water here, so this water is getting the full brunt of that ex uh, exchange of heat. Uh, and when this water is above 102 degrees, it, the, the water will uh, evaporate into steam. And once the steam is above 125 degrees, we should start generating power. Um, and then whenever these heat up, and they will constantly heat up, we will get more and more power. In the meantime, 
uh, this will get hot and this will cool down as you can see these are already dropping in temperature these will go to 10 degrees because that's what our cooling group is set to so that's perfect uh, the water is already going in at 26 coming out at 13 and we're going to see this drop nicely but yeah, um, that is the most important stuff. Let me see. We also have some water in this pipe. Um, can I... Can I get this away if I connect these? I can. Okay. Let's not build this. Uh, because it doesn't have to be a different type of pipe. But yeah, this way we can empty this pipe again and then we can destruct or uh, deconstruct this here. Perfect. Because we don't need this anymore. Like that. And that is all that I want to do in this episode. We're not going to see... Oh, this water is 109 kilograms. Uh, we're not going to see this go into steam yet i guess we're gonna see that next episode next episode i'm also going to do more with this uh cooling line uh you can see it's still dropping uh here it's actually going below 10 degrees but in the end this is going to be nicely 10 degrees all right and then the next episode we're going to use this cooling loop to make um oxygen because we are running a little bit low on algae um and we can make uh, oxygen in a different way but that's typically hot, so we need to cool it down, and that's where this is coming in. All right. If you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions of what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video.